Hi guys, today I'm going to explain how to tell time in two different time zones on a GMT watch by using the bezel. Okay, right here I have my Rolex GMT Master reference 1675 and you can see the dial have the minute hand and the hour hand and then this red hand right here which is called the GMT hand and the GMT hand in conjunction with the bezel is how you're able to tell time in two different time zones. So how does that work? Well, when the bezel is set to 12 o'clock, like I've got it right here, the GMT hand is going to tell you the exact same time as the local time. So we can see that it's 3.15 local time, and the GMT hand is pointing to the 15, so 1500 hours. So I know it's 15.15 or 3.15 p.m. Now to tell time in a different city, you're gonna rotate the bezel either left or right, depending on what city you're going to want to know the time in. So I want to know the time in LA, so I know that it is three hours behind the East Coast. So I move the bezel back three hours. And now you can see local time is 3.15. And now the GMT hand is pointing a little past the 12, so 12.15 in Los Angeles. Let's go the other way now. So if I want to know the time in Milan, I know that it's six hours ahead, so I'm going to go ahead and move the bezel ahead six hours local time 315 and now you can see the GMT hand pointing to 21 so 2115 or 915 in the evening in Milan it's that simple so a GMT watch is a very very useful watch especially if you travel a lot whenever I go on the road or overseas this is the watch that I bring with me and I love my Rolex GMT master because not only is it a great tool watch but it also is just super stylish now Rolex is not the only brand that makes a GMT watch. There are definitely other brands, some at a much lower price point than the Rolex GMT Master. I'm gonna leave some links in the description down below with some other options at various price points just if you guys are interested in checking those out. If you like this video, I appreciate you giving it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to the channel. Uh, and leave a comment below, let me know what you thought and what videos you'd like to see in the future. Of course, follow us on Instagram and visit the website. And until next time, thanks for watching.